welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we hope you're in your subscription. Our current subscribers, thank you. <laughs> All right, folks, we're here at a PNW gathering. Uh, it's a new piece of equipment here joining us for today. This uh, belongs to PNW STE member Dan. Dan, tell us a bit about your loader. Where'd you get this at? I've not seen an orange loader before that, that came. You said you didn't paint it. I did not paint it. This came from uh, RC Model Design. It's a special order color. No, I did not get a new machine. Well, I, I thought you used to have a yellow machine. It was yellow. It oh, was yellow. Was. Oh, it was. That boom looks a little bigger to me for some reason. I don't remember your boom being, you know, I don't these, know. It just looks something different. <laughs> it just got these accessories on it. Oh, oh okay. Got a couple extra valves on there, some <coughs> extra hard lines. I draw it quickly. It is definitely fancy. That's me. How easy is it to reconnect? Practice. Did you mess with the turn motor at all to get it just quick slopping? Yes, I added a uh, literally a rubber a rubber glove. I cut a little bit of it and I put it on the, over the, to the shaft. The, the gear fits over the shaft that has play. Yeah. So I put a rubber glove. Just, you know, when I was in the leaping uh -huh. glove, I shoved it in there, cut it off, and shoved the gear on there and put the screw on. That's a good oh, idea. Yeah, and that, that took care of the slop issue. Yeah. I yeah. see that. That took care of quite a bit of it. I would have never thought of that. So it's not actually in the gear net itself, it's on the shaft that the, the, the gear itself sits on to like the pin reader. Yep. Yeah. I don't like it. Right. So all your other boxes, awesome. they set up with that, that same. If you're enjoying the video, please take a moment to leave us a comment to let us know, and we'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up. Front left track just fell off. Aww. That's heavy. You still gotta get some. Ah! Look at that! There you go, Tony. Aww, I think I got that on the camera too. I'm pretty sure it was on it. As long as it was on it, yeah. That's us. Accessories you want, it's going to determine 
which you're going to get. Because this way you only have a maximum of six. Whereas if you go the Primacon route, you can get a seven for the same size as six. Uh, and the Primacon hydraulics are a lot smoother. Yeah, I think that. If I were to do this again, did you know how you could buy the 360 empty? Yep. And I'm going, well yeah, you also put a bigger bucket on there now too. But I never did that with the ripper. What's that? Tip forward. Oh, yeah. Full bucket. A lot of counterweight hanging off the back I end of it. Back on there. Just get rid of the teeth. Or flip the teeth the other way around. Huh? I can't. No, I can't. Oh, it's not even fixed. Huh? Everything's fixed on, oh. the, on the ripper. You can't take the teeth off? Nah. I think I just need a counterweight. Oh, look, I found a boulder. Among the massive river rocks that I'm looking through. Like, what is what is this? This isn't even gravel. Hold on, hold on. Drain rock. <laughs> it's drain rock, but what scale? I'm trying, uh, 114, these are, these are rocks like this. Yeah, they are. Good? Yep. Oh, you know who? Yep. If you know somebody that may enjoy watching this video, please feel free to share it with them. We love it when you share our content. Oh, you know who who would be jelly of this thing? The guys from Idaho. Yeah, buddy. They're all about the realism. There you go. There's your. The, who would be jelly of this thing? The guys from Idaho? Yeah, buddy. They're all about the realism. And there you go. There's your realism. No. Lost it. I'll come back for it. But this truck is full anyway. I can say Dan with the uh, with the 5500 battery in there, I still get about 45 minutes of playtime with it. So quite impressed still. Thank <laughs> you.